What's up, YouTube? This is BystanderX79. I'm coming to you today with my newest deck profile for the May 2018 format. And as you can see, staring you right in the face, it is my Metal Foe Yang Zing deck. Alright, Yang Zings have always been a favorite sinker archetype for me. Add in the Metal Foes to the mix, you can make extremely good use of all the Yang Zing's destruction effects to bring out even more monsters onto the field. Alright, with that being said, guys, I'm going to dive right into this. Alright, as always, we're going to do the monster lineup first, and this deck is pretty monster lineup heavy. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the metaphor ratio that I'm running. I'm running two copies of Metal Falls Gold Driver, as well as two copies of Metal Falls Vol's Flame. Okay. Level four, level six. Or, excuse me, level four, level seven, excuse me. Boom, boom, boom. Bring that over here. I, I'm also running three Silvers and three Push it all up. Steel ends. All right, now the primary reason why I'm running three each of the small level monsters is because it, they are actually a whole lot easier to synchro summon with than the higher level monsters. All metal full monsters, okay, and all metal full monsters have the same pendulum effect. Once per turn, you can target one car, one face-up card you control, destroy it, and if you do, set one metal full's spell on track card directly from your field to your deck. I can't tell you how um, good that effect is with the Yang Zing monsters. Again, they all have a destruction effect that special summon summons out another Yang Zing monster onto the field. So. This deck does make very good use of that effect. Um, add in the fact that you have metal, the, the Metal Falls the metal trap card I have in there, which will help you get more Metal Falls monsters into your hand when the, it's popped. So you can see, it's going to get you a lot of pluses just having this one card in the scale. So let's just move on to the Ang Zing lineup. Alright. I run three copies of... Beyond Earth of the Yang Zing. It's a level 3 Earth Attribute Worm Effect Monster. Alright, now Yang Zings all have that same ability. When it's in your control and it's destroyed by battle or card effect, you're allowed to special summon a Yang Zing monster from your deck to the field. In this particular case, Beyond sum summons it out in the fence mode. Alright. Another cool thing about all the non-tuner, non-pendulum Yang Zing monsters is that they all have a quick effect which allows you to use Yang Zing, other Yang Zing monsters as well as a Yang Zing tuner to sink or summon out during your opponent's turn, which is insanely good because it can open up a whole lot of destruction plays depending on what synchros you play. All right, and finally, all Yang Zing monsters also, all the yeah, non-tuner, non-pendulum Yang Zing monsters also have an effect. It gives the synchro summon the synchro the, the monsters it's used as a synchro material for. For beyond, it makes that monster impervious to, ba to being destroyed by battle, which is actually pretty good, forcing your opponent to look for other ways to get that monster off the field. All right. That being said. I also have three copies of Bishi, the water of the Yang Zing. Um, all Yang Zings are floaters. This guy summons, when it's destroyed by card effect or battle, it summons out a monster, another Yang Zing in, in attack position. Cool. Um, it has the same quick effect, and when it's used as a synchro material, it makes the synchro monster impervious to the effects of every trap card in the game. All right? And that's actually huge, considering that things like Evilly Matched and, imper and Infinite Impermanence are actually things in the meta. Infinite Impermanence may 
being immune to any trust means infinite opponents cannot negate any of your monsters' effects, and your opponent can evenly match it off the boards. Huge. Love this guy at three. Always run this guy at three. All right. Next, the first of the tuners. We have Chi Wen, the light on the Yang Zing. All right. Now, the cool thing about this one is that Chi Wen, whenever it's destroyed by Card Effect Battle, it, it still has the float effect. But cool thing about it is that it doesn't matter what mode you summon the monster in. You can summon it on defense position. You can summon it on attack position. It doesn't care. It's as long as it's a Yang Zing monster. The other ones do have a bit more restriction. You have to look for a monster with either zero attack or zero defense. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. But yeah, typically the monsters with zero attack search out the zero defense ones, and the zero defense ones search out the zero attack ones. And you can figure out the defense and attack ones as well. So, modes as well. But this guy doesn't care about what Yang Zing monster you summon, or what or what defense or what battle position you put him into. Other the cool thing about it is that while he's in the graveyard and one of your Yang Zing monsters gets popped, you can summon this guy from the from the from the graveyard to your field, so it, it recurs from the from the graveyard, adding an extra body onto the field, which can actually help out in some link plays as well. There's one particular link monster that you want to get a lot of either second type bodies or worm type bodies onto the field to get her out. Of course, when. When you summon him from the graveyard with his, with his effect, when he leaves the field, he, he's banished, but then the breaks. There is a monster in the extra deck you can use to recycle him back in, so don't worry about it. Alright. Three copies of Jow to the Darkness. This guy is so amazing. Um, like the other uh, zero attack ones, he summons out a Yang Zing when he's popped in attack position. Cool. Um... He's the only Yang Zing monster that actually Child to the Darkness of the, of the Yang Zing is the only monster that actually has Yang Zing monster that has an on field effect. Basically, you take you can discard two Yang Zing cards from your hand to the graveyard to special summon out two Yang other Yang Zing monsters from your deck to the field, which can actually do, which does help in get, getting plays going. Because two of those Yang Zing monsters are Pendulum monsters, and you know, if you have two Pendulum monsters in the field, you know where that goes easily. Alright, I run two copies of Palau, the Wind of the Yang Zing, because spell cards are still effects, are still, are still a thing. Um, people might sign in cards like Rakiki and Dark Hole now, nowadays, but there still are other cards that, that can be utilized to negate your monster's effects. This card will make them completely immune to any type of spell effects. Um, yeah, so having this guy, having this guy as a material at, for a synchro monster just makes it a little bit more harder for a, an opponent trying to get over that monster, especially with, if, they, if they think they're smart and try, gonna try to drop down thing, maybe like, I don't know, um, Skystrike and Remover Afterburner to pop a card on your field, or if they try to use, I don't know, yeah, the Sky Strike and make a Widow Anchor to negate or steal the monster. He's very good. I only run him at two because you only really need to. Um, three copies of Solani, the Fire, the Yang Zing. Uh, Fold effect, quick effect. It's The effect it gives um, any monsters it's used as a secret material for is that it actually power boosts them. It knocks them up by 500 attack and defense. Um, boosting a lot, any secret monster is great. Alright, and I did have mentioned this before, there are Pendulum Yang Zings. You have Zephyrnia, the secret of the Yang Zing. Alright, I run him at three because whenever this guy is Pendulum Summoned, or he's destroyed by a card effect, you get to search your deck for a Yang Zing card. He's a searcher, he's a pendulum monster, which means you can keep bringing him back, you can keep popping him, and you can keep search, searching repeatedly. Alright. You can search repeatedly, but you can't do it in the same turn. You only can only use the search effect once per turn, but still. You get a search every, every time he hits the field as a pendulum summon and pop him on your opponent's turn, you get a search. So, you're plussing off, you're plussing off his arrival and departure, so... Always good. And last but not least, you have Zephraxi. Um His monster effect 
turns any other Yang any other Yangzi monster into a tuner. In case there are, in case you summon out nothing but um, effect monsters and no tuners. A handy effect. Um, typically, he's just in there to bring out as another name um, for Jai Two, so you can go into your Electro My Place. All right, so that's it for monsters. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of monsters in there. But this deck does work. We have some spells, first and foremost. Copy of Dark Hole. This Yang Zing's like to, to be destroyed. Dark Hole likes to destroy monsters. It's a perfect match. Metal Foes Fusion, because you are running Metal Foes. You can Fusion and summon out the one fusion monster I have in the deck. And not only that, whenever it's in the graveyard, recycle it back in your deck, draw a card, so it does add a little bit more consistency to the deck. And then of course you have Soul Charge, rebuild your field, or just build into a bigger Synchro monster. It's nuts. It's an awesome card to have in, in, in this deck. So, on to the traps. I only won three spells. Onto the traps, two copies of Metalful co combination. I mentioned this before with the things pop in this card, it allows you to search your deck for another Metalful monster and add it to your hand. When it's destroyed, I have three copies of Nine Pillars of the Yang Zing. Basically, port negates the activation of a spell trap or monster effect. And if you do that, and you control Yang Zing card, negate the activation, and if you do, shuffle the card into the deck, shuffle that card into the card you negate it into the deck, and then, yeah, destroy one other Yang Zing card you control. Okay. And finally. Boom! One copy of Yang Zing Creation because this this card is insane with this deck. It just helps the deck plus hard off your monsters' destructions. Gets a whole lot of monsters onto the field. The more bodies you have, the better sequels you can make. Or even go into link plays. So, there you go. With that, that's it for the main deck. So there is basically six traps, three spells, and a whole lot of monsters. 31 to be precise. On to the extra deck. Alright. This is the fusion. One fusion I run. Metal Falls Mithrilium because it does um, recycle stuff back from the graveyard. So it's necessary. And it can bounce things off the field. So it's a pulsar evacuation device effect. Which is great. For the synchros. Herald of the Arc Light. Um, make this with Chuen plus Beyond makes it impervious to battle, making your opponent I mean your opponent has to basically destroy with a card effect. Um it could also set up disruption plays later on. Alright. We got Black Rose Dragon again, it's another dark hole, pops the field. Yangzi monsters love it. One Yazi, spot monster removal. Level seven can't be targeted. Two copies of Baxia. This card also has um an effect that spins cards back from your opponent's side of the field to the, to the deck based on the number of attributes you used to sick or summon this card out. It can also bring back cards from the graveyard by popping things off the field. Alright. Of course, you gotta run Beals because Beals is indestructible to battle and card effects. Add in a Beyond. And a Suwani goes up to 3,500 immune to traps. Yeah. Side from Lord Omega, just to rip cards out of, out of your opponent's hand and recycle stuff from your banner zone. Scrap Dragon pairs well with Beals. Free pops. Chao Fang, this is a monster version of, of skill, a Yangtze monster version of Skill Drain. Shuts down a whole lot of monster effects, depending on what, what attribute you use. And of course, Trishula doesn't target, and it banishes stuff off the field, hand, and graveyard. Alright, one Xyz, number 38, black spell cards. Use this with two boxes you create. And of course, you have two copies of Hellmo, Heavy Metal Folds, Electromite, does a ton of stuff 
in pendulum decks. Gets it into your extra, most wanted extra deck on pawn summon, pop the scale, draw a card, move another card back into it, move a face up in the monster into your hand. It's just, it just does so much. It needs to be in here. And last but not least, talked about her, hinted at her, summon sorcerer. She just is just nuts, opens up a whole lot of plays, and gets the deck going in a new way. Okay. And with that being said, that is it. For my Yang Zing Metal Foes deck profile. Guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this on my channel, just hit that subscribe button. Enable the notifications to make sure you don't miss a video I post. And guys, until next time, I'll be seeing you. Peace out.